Hi, everyone. Um, we're a small part of the OpenH development team. We're uh, doing a, a free re-implementation of Age of Empires 2. I'm Jonas. And I'm Michael. <laughs> so uh, what we are doing, uh, we, are, we have been developing uh, a free engine clone for Age of Empires 2, the Conquerors expansion. Uh, we started in 2013, and since then, yeah, we have been doing it. <laughs> uh, our game requires the original game assets, so you have to like own a copy of the original game, but we have been writing a completely new engine uh, with unlimited uh, possibilities for modding and so on. Uh, the original game engine is quite limited, starting with the fact that it only runs on Windows. Um, as a short overview of the technology which we are using, uh, the engine core is written in C++, uh, but uh, there is an extensive interface to call most of the engine features from Python 3. Uh, we are using Scython as glue and CMake, OpenGL, Vulkan isn't even mentioned here, uh, SDL, Qt, and we have our own uh, data description language, Neon, but uh, more on that later. Uh, so, this is what it's currently looking like. <laughs> and uh, in the last year, we have had three main advancements. Uh, VTech wrote a new uh, renderer. Then uh, we've got a new world simulation engine, which is completely event-driven, which was uh, done by Tomato. And we have a new modding API, which was designed by Heinesen. All of those advancements are mostly in the background, so there is little stuff uh, which is actually visible, which has changed in the last year, but now we are ready to integrate everything together and basically finish the game. <laughs> so um, the uh, no new central component of the engine uh, is, um, and is uh, entity component based. And this is the game en entity which uh, has abilities. Abilities are now in green. Um, and bony, bony are things like the unit is standing on a hill and therefore has more attack uh, damage. Or and the abilities are permanent uh, things an uh, entity can do. For example, exist, move, die, attack, whatever. In uh, practice, uh, in our own description language, this, in a simplified way, uh, is a villager that just exists with 25 HP and can move and die. The definitions of move, die, attack are not here now. But um, with that way, it's possible that uh, any entity can do everything. And so trees, for example, can uh, train new units, or animals can convert villagers, or Relics can even start to chop wood, if you like. So um, this API overview here is the whole thing that is able to uh, um, simulate Age of Empires 2. The green uh, boxes are, again, all the abilities. Um, we have new things like actual inventory management, so the monk transporting a relic is uh, implemented properly and not a new unit that is a combination of uh, the relic and the monk, for example. And our system supports uh, nonlinear attack trees, so uh, you have, can have arbitrary conditions uh, chained together for advancements in uh, discoveries for your technologies, and uh, this is implemented the following way. So a technology is, again, just an entity. And the, uh, entity, uh, the technology has the most important parameter, the updates, uh, all at the bottom, which is a set of patches. Patches are a special feature of our uh, neon language that um, allow to change values on the fly in the database. So in this case, the update is on line 9 which is the more HP patch that updates villager live by adding 15 uh, new health points. So whenever this technology is activated, then the database is updated. Um, with uh, the same trick, we can do uh, things like attack and defense, so that uh, 
for example, ranged attacks and ranged armor are matched up uh, and produce the correct amount of damage. And we can do very complicated things like transforming uh, the uh, trebuchet into packed and unpacked. And this whole thing is fed into the event engine, as I said, which uh, basically is a history of everything in the game in past and uh, the future. And what the engine, what the, what the client only does is play back that view. So it's just a snapshot. So next is funny new things like data conversions. Four, and that three, was it already. Two, Join us four. and help us develop a cool thing. Thanks.